Chen Li. Huh? Have you seen Zhao Chong? Oh, the three of them are talking to Hobo right now. Oh. What's up? Nothing. Just need to get even. Get even? Mrs. Ho. I. Get out of here right now! I said leave me alone! I want you to get better! Leave We're not gonna leave you here! We only want to help! Hey, 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 what's going on? Calm down, calm down. Settle down, everything's fine. What's going on? Who is this guy? This guy's Hobo's son. It's kinda complicated. It'll take a while to explain. Excuse me, you're supposed to be Hobo's son, right? You see, Hobo is very sick now. He's in poor health and can't get upset. If there's a problem, let's be civil about it, okay? Wait! Hey, I'm telling you now! If you say anything to her, if you make her leave, I'll pull all of this out! No, don't! I'll do it! Sir, please don't do that! Calm down, come on, that's enough! Hobo, please, what's going on take here? it easy! Director. Quick, tell me. What's happening? Why is he so upset? I, I have no idea. He was like this when I got here. Well, you'll just have to so try to, to calm him down. down. We'll get even worse. Right. Hold on. Wait up! Where are you going? <sighs> Nowhere. Just look at yourself. You've done pretty well for a nanny, huh? Did you see my dad just now? Advanced liver cancer. Are you crazy? You want to marry him? Get out of here already! Get your stuff and go, okay? I got someone else. Just get out of here. My dad doesn't need you. Go on, get your stuff and go. I, I won't and go. Stop, stop it. Him already. Let go. I Let said, go, get please. Out of You're here. hurting me. I want you to leave. Stop. Stop it, please. I'll drag you out of here if I have to. Listen, I, I never planned on marrying your father, Hoyu. It was his idea. I know who I am. I promise I never planned it. I wanted to care for him so he can leave this world in peace. All I want is to be by his side. I don't care about his money. I really don't care. You said it's his idea? Huh? Just tell me what you said to him, okay? At his age already, and he's sick. Why would he get married? <laughs> I'm telling you right now, his house, his money, all his wealth, I'll donate it before you get it, understand? You must be insane or something. Cheng Jun, you haven't told me what happened. Um, I came in when I heard Hobo yelling. I don't know the details. We're all in the dark here. Director Zhang. Hobo's son made Mrs. Ho leave, so Hobo got angry. Hobo's son made Mrs. Ho leave? Why, isn't she his mother? No, I don't think so. If it's a family issue, we shouldn't get involved. Right. We should let Hobo rest, make sure he's stable. Ajao Chan, you're good with this kind of thing, right? Tell us about it. Mrs. Ho isn't Mrs. Ho. It seems like Hobo's son has no idea about her existence. There's only one explanation. Hmm? Hobo doesn't want his son to know about their relationship. I never imagined that Hobo had secrets like that. Okay, that's enough of that. At least he's calmed down. We should get back, all right? <laughs> Hold it right there. We need to talk. Come on. All right, all right, all right. That's far enough, you bastard. Selling me out, huh? Don't play dumb with me. Huh? Oh, come on. Tang Tang! So she found you out that quickly? Listen, I'm usually nice to you, Xiao Chong. After all that, you didn't think I'd say something to you? Hey, Dr. Chung, it wasn't my fault. You wouldn't let me leave. You think I can stop you from leaving, huh? Wait, I get it now. You're just using me, aren't you? Of course I'm not. I'm doing this all for you. Okay, that's enough. You think I'm stupid? Dr. Chong, don't you think that Tang Tang... Well, she's pretty? What does that mean? You really don't know what I mean? Huh? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well... How dare you even think that... You got that right. And she's pretty. If it works out, you'll have me to thank. I'm your disciple. I should do something to pay you back. Well, thanks a lot. That's what I'll say at your grave. What? Why is that? It's because I'll punch you so hard you'll die from uh, the baby. Uh, you know what uh, kind of trouble you've caused me? I don't need your help. Got that? Stop wasting your time. From this point on, you're out. Find Chang Sheng. You can work with him. You can help him change out the bedpans. You're kidding me. It's 
It's not Ow. a joke. Are you awake? Do you feel any better? I'm better now. Didn't you say you wanted sweet potato congee? Uh, I made it special for you. Ah. Uh, great. Uh, Here, eat it while it's hot. Smells good. I'm very sorry. Oh, please don't apologize. Here, eat your food. It's good. Delicious. You know what? They're very sweet together. I think you're more of a gossip than I am now. Well, of course I have to be. Look at you. I've got to take over. <laughs> Hey, that guy looks like Hobo's son. And he's got a nanny with him. This way, please. All right. This can't be good. Go get Director Zeng. I'll go to the office. Okay. Dr. Chung, Hobo's son is back and he brought a nanny. Hobo's son's back and he brought a nanny with him. Go check it out. Don't let anything happen. Get out! <laughs> Stop Did it. you hear me? Stop I said get it. out! <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Don't make her go. Direct the Zeng. Get this bastard out of here. Don't make him come back. Hubo, don't get upset. <laughs> you really have to calm down, all right? <laughs> now, who are you? <laughs> I really don't want to get involved in family affairs. But this is a hospital. Mr. Hu is our patient, and also an employee. We must respect his wishes. If you think there's a problem, we hope you can be civil about it. Please try not to upset him. Direct his hand. <sighs> yes. Let me take care of this. Huh? You... Go. The nanny's leaving. Director Zeng, there is a saying. We can't conceal the truth from our parents, our spouses, and our doctors. Isn't that right? None of you are outsiders. I'll just say what I want to say about this. Son, come here. To be honest, I'm about to die soon. I want to tell you the truth about her. She is family. Do you know who she is? This woman is my ex-wife. <sighs> you. I know you and mom are very close. I know there are lots of things I didn't get to tell you about. I joined the army in 1978. Before that, I was married to this woman over here. Her name is San Mei. That same year I was transferred. I was in the Mount Lao front line. I remember how horrifying it was. Pretty soon I got injured in battle. Your mother was a nurse based in Beijing. She hardly knew anything. She was our unit's youngest nurse. In the third month of her military service, she pulled me out from a pile of my comrades' dead bodies. She carried me for a whole day and night without stopping. But she was gravely wounded. She lost her leg for me. I wanted to repay her for that. So I decided to marry her. 
I wrote Sanmei a letter one day. I said I was leaving her. Sanmei agreed without any second thought or argument. She thought I was a war hero, that I was loyal. When your mom returned to Beijing, I went with her. We started a family here. And so, I lost contact with her. I forgot Sanmei. My son, your mom died eight years ago. I was loyal to her until the very end. After her death, I had no plans to remarry. But not too long ago, I wasn't feeling well, so I took leave and went back to my hometown. Then I found out Sanmei had never remarried. She had been living all alone. And she never had any children. And people were mocking her. She knew I was sick and wanted to help me. So I brought her back here with me. The people here don't know her, so they thought she was my wife. And so she stayed. Then I found out I had terminal cancer. I wanted her to leave me, but she refused. My son, listen to me. I want to give her back the years we have lost. I am dying. She has sacrificed enough. If you agree, then let me take care of her. If not, then it doesn't matter. It's my decision. It's my dying wish. I'm really sorry. My dad might not need you after all. So you may go now. What's going on inside? Well, it is what I'd call an epic love story. Yeah, never knew... Hobo was... Hello? Oh, okay. I'm on my way. A patient? Let's all go. What is it? Emergency shock, VF. A defibrillated in the ambulance. Already opened an IV channel on a dopamine drip. Vitals are mostly stable Doctor, now. Doctor, we're both from Guizhou. Showing students the sights around Beijing. We don't know the cause, but Mrs. Yang just fainted. Will she be all right? We can't be sure. Cheng Jin, give her a full exam right away. Hmm. Sao Chan, take them to take a number. Mm -hmm. Let's go. go. Come with me, please. Dr. Chung, the x-rays are ready. Hmm. Now tell me just what, what are we looking at here? Look here, what are these? That's big. Pleural mesothelioma? Who has pleural mesothelioma? Oh, a patient just arrived. We asked them. Her name's Yang Shenhua, a volunteer, moved from Shanghai to Kishu. Oh, group diagnosis then. Do you all agree? Mm. He's here. Uh, Did you? Yes. The x-ray results from the new patient, pleural mesothelioma, quite rare. We asked her friend. She's a volunteer teacher who came from Shanghai. Lin Chu, what is it? What is the patient's name? Her name's Shang Xiaowa. Lin Chu, do you know this woman? Who admitted her? Why is she here? Dean Chu, we should talk in my office. And her family? They aren't in town. Two colleagues are here. They're all teachers. 
We should contact the school. Well, we did call them, but they said... So, Chad, please, come to my office. We'll talk. I called their school earlier. Miss Yang was an educated youth and then a principal at a Shanghai middle school. After retirement, that's when she became an aid teacher. And he said she had no family? We asked. She's single, never married, no kids. Director Zeng, did I say something wrong? No, not at all. I know you like to gossip, but this time, don't talk. Don't gossip, and don't discuss it at all, okay? Not a word. I've changed now, don't worry. Go tell Cheng Jun. Take care of her. Make sure she's all right, huh? Mm-hmm. Lin Chu. Ah, get on with your rounds now. I'll take care of this one. Hey, Dr. Chung, Dr. Chung, I spent two hours with Chang Shang. I've served my time. How about letting me off the hook now? You should know, Zhao Chong. Serving time is a punishment. Mm -hmm. I want to know if your mental state improved at all. It has, it has. Are you sure about that? Yeah, absolutely sure. I'm much better now. Then keep doing it. <laughs> Dr. Chung, come on. Stop messing with me. Hey, you just messed with my entire life. Have you forgotten that? Can't I do this once in a while? Fine, fine. Just get that out of your system. You feel better? That depends on your performance here. Got it? Dr. Chung, my performance doesn't matter. Focus on yours, okay? What? Hey, hey! What do you... What do you mean, huh? Dr. Chung, there you are. Huh. Xiao Chong, you'll pay for this someday. Dr. Chung... I hope it's okay if I talk to you. Look, I'm really busy. I've got a bunch of stuff to do. I, I really don't have the time. <sighs> Look, I had to skip out my lunch just so I can actually talk to you. You skipped lunch? That's not good. I, I'll no, get no, you no, something. No. It's okay, really. I know that you're a busy man. I don't want to take up your time. Here, you eat and listen to me. Is that okay? Oh, uh, yeah, all right then. Sit down. <laughs> Thanks. Dr. Chung, you know, I really think you should reconsider. All I care about is one thing, okay? He does what he wants. In his spare time, as long as it doesn't affect his work, got it? Whether he listens or not, that's all up to him. If he wants to go home and write novels, I can't stop him now, can I? So there's no point in pestering me. You have to ask him about it. I'll talk to him later. But why later? He just left. If you go now, you can catch him. He shouldn't be far. But you see, it's also important that I talk to you. Dr. Chung, have you ever thought of writing a book? A writer? Mm -hmm. You're serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no way, no way. I'm not your guy. I can't do that. No worries. Just tell me some interesting things from your life and your work. I'll find someone, a ghostwriter, to write it. And then we'll use your name and you'll be the author. You can do that? That's how they all do it. I don't like who they can be. I have a problem with that stuff, both morally and professionally. Look, there's no way I can eat. You're a woman, and you're hungry. You skipped lunch to talk to me. How can I eat by myself? It's unfair, right? How about this? I'll go and get you something to eat, okay? Oh, all right, then. Hey, hold it! Hmm? Cho Chan, come here. Yes, Dr. Hey, Chang? I'm gonna confiscate your lunch, and you... 
Well, you can go get another one. I'll just pay for it. Go on. Uh, thanks. All right, go on and eat. You're welcome. He's buying her lunch and says nothing's up. Who? Look. What? Mm -hmm. Who's that girl Chang Jun's eating with? She's an editor that wouldn't leave Zhao Cheng alone. Zhao Cheng wanted to introduce her to Cheng Jun. You know what? I think there's a pretty good chance here. Yeah, right. Cheng Jun's not that easy. But didn't he want to find a girlfriend before? Come on, just admit it. Don't you think they make a good match? Now that you mention it, I do think that they would make a pretty good couple. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. Zhao Chong told me that if he writes a book, he can get 200,000. No way. He's just gloating. I don't think it's likely That's either. That's impossible. 200,000? No. Hey, good timing. Have you seen it, Edith Zhao Chong? I haven't. Why? What did he do? <laughs> you guys just don't know oh, how much nerve he has. He tried to hook me up with a girl, that editor. You know what? He... Ah, forget it. I said nothing. Don't mind me. Hey, no, no. Tell me more. I think you should date her. Hey, it's time you got a girlfriend. What? So you... So you think that he's right? You don't want to stay single, do you? Uh, no, I don't. But then... Yeah, I guess you're right. Do you or don't you? These are the prescriptions, you know. The dosage is pretty clear. Make sure to follow these steps and don't skip a day of medication. Director Lee. Hi. Wait. Hmm? Have you seen the dean anywhere? He's inside. Just got a patient. They're diagnosing her. <sighs> what patient? He didn't even have lunch. Isn't Wu Ran's case over with? It's not Wu Ran. It's actually a woman from Gishu. A woman? <sighs> Xiao Chan. Xiao Chan, come here. Why would you tell Director Lee that? Say what? Don't you know about her temper? You could have just said it was a patient. Why did you say it was a woman? But she is a woman. No way she'd get jealous by that. She must be a big bottle of jealousy. She's not just a bottle. She's a whole factory. You were once a rising star of gossip, you know? Now hmm. look how far you've gone with this. How can you not know it? Everyone knows about her attitude. Did I really screw up? <sighs> Dr. Oyang, I screwed up big time. What did you do? Well, you see, I just ran into the dean's wife and she asked me where he was. I said he was here. Right. So what? I also told her that he was just diagnosing a female teacher from Gishu. <laughs> oh. What's wrong with that? Hey, <laughs> don't forget, female teacher. Oh no, that's not good at all. Dr. Oi and Dr. Chung, don't scare me. She couldn't really be that jealous of her, could she? You're still young, all right? You don't get it just yet. You have no idea how sinister this world can be. <laughs> I'm telling you, the Dean's wife only heard the word female and she's lost it. She's not just anyone. Why couldn't you keep your mouth shut? I thought you weren't dumb anymore. Why would you mess up like that? Huh? Hey, Cheng Jun, bad news. Huh? We have to contact the dean. This sounds like trouble. What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Director Lee, nice to see you. Have you eaten? Yes, ma'am. How come you didn't let us know you'd be visiting today? That's right. <laughs> Why should I do that? So you could inform the others working here, right? Where's Chao Bo Zhao? I looked all over but didn't see him here. Don't tell me. None of you know either. Oh, yeah. I know, I know. He, he was just here. He must have... Uh, doctor? Answer me clearly. Well, right now he's... I just got back. I don't know. I haven't run into him. <laughs> hmm. So nobody knows, huh? I'm sure someone does. Ajao Chan. Have you graduated yet? D director Lin, I, I am... Do you want to? Y yes Then tell me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 
Chao Bo Chao, I didn't see you during lunch. Why are you here? Mind telling me who that is? Why are you holding her hand? Who is she? Ching Chuan. Sorry about that. It's fine. What do you want for dinner? Your choice. Let's go then. Why can't I just learn to shut my big mouth? Look, you've already improved a lot, okay? Just forget it. And it wasn't even your fault. If it were, I might have done the same thing. I mean, who knew that the Dean's wife could be just so jealous? She's super jealous, which means she and the Dean lack trust. What's the point if your relationship is like that? I really feel so sorry for the Dean right now, stuck with a wife like that. I heard that when DQ was young, he was stationed in Guizhou. Director Li was the daughter of the branch secretary there, and he was very close with young Shuehua, really close. Director Li wouldn't have it and forced Dean Q to be with her instead. And then when he came to study in Beijing, he decided to bring her along with him. Oh, wow. <laughs> you really want to take over for me. Where'd you get all that info? <laughs> I heard it all from Wang. <laughs> and from what he told me, their classmates all feel bad for Dean Q. If in our lives, we fail in our relationships, then even if we're successful, we're still never going to be happy. Can I interpret that as you bragging? Hmm, sure. <laughs> but don't you have Sun Jen Chai? Hmm, yes I do. But I don't really know if it's right at all. Shall we go? Okay, you going? Or are you staying here? You two have your own world. Why go back to the dorm so early? What about Sun Jin Chai? Oh, he's been really busy lately. Mm, well, we'll <laughs> go ahead then. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye-bye. What are you doing? I'm busy. Hey, why did Chao Chan want to stay behind? Isn't that Tang Tang? So she's here too. They're waiting for Xiao Chong. <sighs> Xiao Chong's an idiot. Why is he stalling? 200,000 is a lot of money. I thought you didn't believe it. Of course I don't. 200,000 won't happen. Maybe 100,000. What? You want to make that money too? <laughs> you know I'm not a writer. <laughs> but then to be honest, I would like to make some extra money. You know I do have to start preparing for our life after marriage. What do you think, huh? Who's marrying who? Why prepare if I haven't even agreed? What's there to prepare for? Nothing wrong with that. It's always good to be prepared. <laughs> Cha Chong? I already spoke with Dr. Chung. He says the decision is yours. Don't beat around the bush. Just give me a straight answer. I guess I have to give you an answer eventually. Right. Okay, can I just write what you need in my spare time? Sure, it'll take a bit longer, but at the most, I'll be done in six months. That just won't do. <sighs> you see... The editor-in-chief says that he hopes that you can finish it in a month, and we have to print it within two. If it were a bit longer, maybe... 
But six months, that's a little too long. Well, we... We just can't wait that long. So dinner means that we're just gonna eat in silence. Had enough of it already. Looks like you can't stand being away from me for so long. I've had enough. Can't you tell me what's going on here? Hmm. I know you haven't made up your mind yet. I wanted to give you time to think it over. But because of my family, well, you know, how about we do this? First, you and I start over. If there are problems, we will deal with them. I haven't made up my mind, but you know I have done a lot of thinking about it. Wasting time like this has no benefit for either of us. So you mean, you accept? I accept. To show your sincerity, how about we watch a movie? Right now? Right now? It's too late now. How about tomorrow I'm off? See if you can take the day off too. We'll go and watch a movie first, then I'll make some plans for us to spend the day. It's been a while. I think it's time we act as a couple. All right. I'll see what you have planned. Satisfaction guaranteed. <laughs> Let's eat. Thanks. Tomorrow, I'll bring the contract over. We'll see then. In terms of time, I'll try to work things out with the Chief, but I can't guarantee I can do much. Hey, since you so kindly brought us dinner, I'll just give you my two cents, okay? In terms of Zhao Chong's problem, you've worked hard, and we know that, but your method, it's real pushy, you know? You just think about how you can get your job done without thinking about a situation. I can tell you're a career woman, right? Everything revolves around work. All you want is to get things done, regardless of the consequences. You work hard because you want to get ahead, correct? Yes, that is actually correct. People and patients are similar. And as a doctor, I have to see more than the illness. Illnesses appear on people all the time, so treating them means saving them. That's so great. Just a sec. Okay, you can go on. Huh? Actually, your job's the same. You see details. Tell me, what do your editors do? Um, contact writers, choose content, and arrange mm -hmm. tasks, and of course supervising, and giving comments, and proofreading as well. You see? There you go. Your job is similar. People are oriented, too. It's more or less the same as ours. When treating the sick, we have to think about the patient's life based on their situation. Placate them, motivate the patients, get them to help us. We face illnesses together. We can't just leave them alone. You know, you guys are the same. Because you see, you have to think about the author based on their situation. Placate them, and you have to motivate them. Get them to help you reach your common goal. And meet all your deadlines. Am I right? That's incredible. Doctor, I never knew you were such a philosopher. I'm not. That's, that's a little too much. It sounds fake. No, I really mean it. You are so right. It makes perfect sense. Well, it's just logic everyone's capable of. Think about it. You can say that stuff. Can I of really? Of course. It's not that hard. But remember, saying something is easy. You know that. But putting it in action, that's much tougher. You can't rush some things. Have you done it? Well, I'm still trying. <laughs> I'm done here. I'll go check on Hobo. Sure. Please go on. Hello? Mom? Is it urgent? I'll be right there. Is your mom summoning you? Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't take you home. It's fine, I'll take a cab. Oh. You get going. Sure. What time tomorrow? I'll call you tomorrow. All right, I'm going then. Bye. Bye.
Teen Chu. It's late. You should head back home. Don't worry. I'll take good care of her. Tell me, Zhang. What do you think that we live for? I want to know. I have been a doctor for 30 years. I've been with Li Lanying for all those 30 years. And I've always thought that my life was successful. But then when she appeared one day without a sound right there in front of me, it was the first time I thought my life was a failure. We cannot just live with our guilt. When we were younger, if we violate our conscience, it doesn't matter how far we go, fate will always find a way to bring you back. Right back to that place where you began. Tin Chu, don't overthink the issue. Director Li has had a tough past too. You are right. She's had it tough. But we cannot blame our past for how we treat those around us, Director Zhang. You know, I really think that I failed in life. I really do. Other doctors told me about Hobo today. I think he's better off than I. Since no matter what, he's still alive. He speaks his mind with Mrs. Ho right there by his side. And what do I have? I have been searching for her half my life, and now I see her in this state, with cancer too. A rare and terminal one. She's just laying here. She doesn't even know that I'm here. I don't know when she'll wake up. How will I ever apologize? Will I have a chance? Mom's missed you, but be careful. Mom, what is it that's so urgent? You made me come so late. It's still about you and Ohyang. Didn't we sell that issue already, Mom? That's enough. I've gotten some new information about her. I can't not get involved. There's a doctor Ohyang works with in the ER named Ching Jun. He's liked her for two years, is that right? How did you find out about that? Don't worry about that. Are you sure? They have never been a couple before? Of course I'm sure. Then how are you so sure that they're not together right now? You haven't seen Dr. Ouyang very much lately, have you? Right. I haven't seen her lately. And she hasn't come looking for you? Do you think that's normal? You know, a woman in love, even if she and her boyfriend fight and they need space, they still call once in a while. Do you really think her not talking to you is normal? What's wrong with you? How can you stand it? Mom, Ouyang's personality Don't is Don't talk just... about personality. We're talking about a woman. A woman in love, regardless of personality, has to meet her man. There's only one possibility. She has someone else right now. Mom, all I can say is, you're overthinking this. And you aren't thinking at all. Chan, you have other choices. Are you and Oh Young happy like this? Why do you even bother? When they get together, you'll have a big fight, and you'll lose everything. You need some assurance in your life. You should meet with Ling Ling. I already called her. And when I mentioned you, she said she'd buy a ticket right away. Don't you... See how much she cares about you? That's the kind of person you need in your life. Mom, call her over if you want. I can't tell you what to do. I won't meet with her anyway. It's getting late. You both should be getting to bed now, all right?
Love forever. 